In this lesson, I want to talk about creating workbooks and worksheets within Excel. Um, first simple way, of course, is just right from here, um, from your uh, quick access toolbar. You would just hit uh, new and you get a brand new one. All right. And that automatically gives you a default, um, um, just a blank default. So I'm just going to close this. The other thing you can do is go to file and go to what they call the backstage. So we could go new here. And from here, you can click blank, right? But now that you know you have that shortcut, you'll, you'll probably just use that rather than come here just to uh, save yourself a few clicks. Uh, if you're looking for a template, though, this is where you need to come. Uh, several great templates. I, I'm not a big fan of templates. Personally, I like to create things on my own. However, when you're looking for something that's pre-done and you think that you can edit it and work with it, then uh, come and take a look. There's lots of great stuff in here. And there are categories here. So if they're asking for you um, in the testing part to look for a category, you would look here and you would just click on, let's say, personal. And it's going to bring up all online templates that might be somewhat personal. And there's uh, there's many, many to choose from. So if you liked one, you just click it and create it and it'll bring it in for you. And you would just edit their data with your own personal data. All right. So um Nice, handy, useful. They do a good job of making these look good. Um, that's one thing I got to say about templates. Now, um, if you're, I'm going to go back. I'm going to also open a blank one here. When you open a new uh, workbook, you typically only get one sheet. You can add as many sheets as you'd like. And, and seriously, you can add hundreds. Um, and you... The quickest way I find is to just come here and add a sheet and it'll come to the right hand side. So if I ask for a sheet, there it is. If I want to delete that sheet, I right click and I delete that sheet. Another way of adding a sheet is by going insert, insert sheet, right? And it's inserted it ahead of it. And then I can once again delete that sheet if I don't want it. So just practicing different ways here. And I believe you can go to format. Can you go to format? Nope, that's copying sheets. So here, if I wanted to copy this sheet, sheet one, then I want to show you a couple of different ways of doing that. So I'll use this exercise instead. So here I already have this personal monthly budget sheet. And if I wanted to copy this, there's a few ways. Uh, the first way is by clicking. And as I'm dragging, put your control key down. And now you've got the new one, right? And now I would probably rename this. And um, from personal experience, it's nice to have two different budgets. One, uh, if you think you're, you're about to change jobs or get a new house or uh, incur new expense expenses, you would do it in this new budget and then you'd leave your regular budget alone. Uh, you can change the order of these very easily by just simply clicking and dragging. So I'm clicking and dragging. So now new budget is ahead of personal. All right. The other thing I could have done, I'm just going to delete this again just to show you some more examples. When you're asking for a copy of this, all right, um, I could have clicked and dragged this way. I could have gone this way, depending if I want it ahead or, or behind it. Not a big deal, but they may ask you to do this in the testing parts. Um, you can also go here to format and copy, move or copy sheets. And they're going to be asking you, do you want to move it to the end or do you want it before? All right. So. You would just choose where you wanted it and now you've got your new copy which would be here and format organize oh i just organized there i didn't actual copy so i would have to hit copy there we go i've got to do copy and then end and now i have a copy afterwards I'm going to just delete this once again delete i could have also right clicked on here and gotten the same menu, which I find to be quite faster than coming up here. So move or copy, it's the exact same menu. So if I want to copy of this at the end, I would just do that and it's the exact same result. Uh, I covered this in, in I believe, uh, another video. If you want to rename this, you simply right click, rename, and type whatever it is. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend, here they have spaces in theirs, Unless something is changed, I don't recommend you use spaces when naming your sheets. Um, I would use underscores, but I wouldn't use spaces, nor would I use the minus plus 
uh, divide, multiply, or exponentiation signs because you may actually be doing math from sheet to sheet down the road. So uh, until further notice, don't use any spaces when naming your sheets. Okay, so this, uh, this next part is about uh, importing things into Excel. Now, for my money, uh, copy and paste is just fine. So here I have a text file, right, that I created. Uh, you can easily copy this, bring it into Excel, and go to Paste Special, and tell it that it's, it's text, and then paste it. And then you simply modify it to look the way that you want it to. For my money, that's really, really simple. But they want you to know, uh, I'm going to just delete all of this, that you can also import data, get external data. This gets a little dicey, um, but I, I am going to show you how you can do this. Now, I had originally saved this file as a Word file. Word file is not just a text file. You would need to save this as a text file. So what I did is I went ahead and I went File, Save As, and then here. And from here, I asked for plain text. All right, so I converted a Word document and just to, into a plain text document. Once I did that, I was then able to use this feature. But until I did that, it wouldn't even find that Word file. So now that I have a plain text file, I can now find that plain text file and import it. And it launches this menu for it. Now, if it doesn't look somewhat good right off the bat, chances are you're going to be in trouble. So uh, in this particular case, I do have a header row. And I want to start at row one, and I would hit next. So now it, it's looking that this is going to be just fine. So without having to change any of these things, I'm just going to keep going and then hit finish, and then yes, I want it to start. I had selected D, I didn't really want D. I would want it to start there, and then I hit OK. And there we go, so I've just imported. Now you'll notice it's pretty much the same that I got when I copied and pasted. So, however, they wanted me to cover this. Um, the examples they had were not great. Uh, this is probably as good as it gets. There's probably going to be more exercises down the road on how to bring things into Excel from other sources. Uh, but for now, that's what they wanted me to cover.